startling numbers there. Let's bring back Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner. And, you know, Brooks, I was out in this. I was amazed how quickly it can go from pretty decent yeah. weather uh, to upside down really fast. Right, and that was one of the threats yesterday in the Winter Springs area. It started off as a couple of downpours, really early development, you know, typical stuff you see in Florida. There yeah. wasn't even really any thunder or lightning yet. And then all of a sudden, the storm started producing these really uh, just sort of like body uh, moving strikes. You know, the thunder that you just feel like a bass drum. Shocks you. Yeah, absolutely, literally and figuratively. Yeah. And that's what we saw. This was the radar about 2 30 to 2 45, right when that storm reached its peak intensity of lightning between Winter Springs and Oviedo. And it, it was something else. I mean, it really did start as a lot of nothing. And then within 10 minutes, was just a rip roaring thunderstorm. And uh, this is the problem with the lightning. And, and this this may seem like review, but it's it's something to be reminded of. And I, I was personally reminded of the dangers of lightning last week when I almost got hit by lightning. I was out in the backyard and it was the same kind of thing where there was a little bit of rain, but there was no lightning yet until the one strike that happened to hit within 100 feet of where I was. It, it was just dumb luck. I was that close to it that I didn't get hit. But just remember, lightning strikes the tallest object. You do not want to seek shelter under a tree. Uh, it's kind of a an intuitive thing where you're looking at the rain, it's windy, you want to sort of get away from all that heavy rain. Sometimes it hails and, and maybe there's a big tree with a big canopy and it's a little drier under there. But the problem is that lightning does strike the tallest thing. And if you're within 20 feet of a tree that gets hit, you could get hit. And many times that unfortunately happens. There was a lightning death earlier this year in Volusia County with a man working on a palm tree. He was on the palm tree doing some landscaping, got hit. Uh, two girls in Merritt Island, uh, both teenagers were hit by lightning from a side strike that hit a palm tree. They were just walking under. It wasn't even raining where they were. Uh, kind of like with me, it wasn't even raining when I was out doing yard work and lightning struck. So be very careful out there. Lightning will be a threat today. The timing of these storms a little bit later today than they were yesterday, but still in the dinner time hour, we could be looking at a lot of storms. I got your